opened up and check it out. All right, before we open this up, this is not really an unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what's going on here. So, we'll open this up, and as you can see from the owner's manual, this is the Lone Wolf Dusk 19. And then here is your manual. Really nice manual on this. All right, we'll get this out of here and we'll come back to it. So Lone Wolf does send this out with a patch and a lock and a back strap. And it also comes with two 15 round KCI mags, which are not in here. And I'm going to explain why. So this is Matt's gun from RTT Guns and Gear. And everybody knows Matt is a very good friend of mine. And no, this Dusk 19 does not come with the Viridian RFX 45. Matt put this on here. But he was nice enough to loan this to the channel for me to test out. Because I have really wanted to do a review on the Dusk 19. Now, if you want to stay tuned till the end of the video, there is a second reason why I wanted to borrow this gun from Matt and test it out, and we'll get into that towards the end of the video. So obviously, like I said, it doesn't come with the optic. It does come with a cover plate if you decide you do not want to run an optic on this. The sights on this are super nice, and if they look kind of familiar, these are night vision sights. I have these on my SAR-9 SOCOM. One other thing that I noticed, which is super cool, uh, Lone Wolf has cut this slide deep enough that even with an enclosed emitter dot with the Acro footprint, you are still able to co-witness the iron sights with this dot, which is pretty awesome. Now, if we look at the stippling on this, this, this gun just feels awesome in the hand. They've got some pretty aggressive stippling, but they're almost like a raised panel, as you can see here. Got some really nice stippling here in the back and on the front. And yes, this gun is clear. There's no mag in it, nothing in the chamber. Got a really nice deep undercut here on the trigger guard. Do have serrations out here on the front and really nice deep serrations in the slide and up here what some people like to call your thumb ledge you've got really aggressive texturing here where you can really bite your thumb into the frame and push down this is a really really nice thought out frame on this gun now if we go down here to the bottom you can see there is kind of a integrated flared magwell right on the frame and for a guy with bigger hands like me with this nice deep undercut and this lip coming out on the magwell I'm actually able to get a full purchase on this without a mag in it this is one of the nicest Glock frames I've seen all right, so let's get into some specs on this. So the grip angle on this is a 19 degree grip angle. Your overall length on the Dust 19 is 6.95 inches. Your height on this is 4.61 inches. And the width is 1.14 inches. And this thing weighs 19.8 ounces without a mag. Now the Dust 19 does come with an extended slide stop release right here. And it also has the extended takedown lever. And one other really cool thing about this, the magazine release is reversible for a lefty like me. Now if you go on the Lone Wolf website, they have quite a few different versions of the Dust 19. They have different frame colors, barrel colors. 
Uh, they have threaded barrel versions, non-threaded barrel versions like this. Now this particular model has the graphite gray barrel and this is a PVD coated barrel. Now this basically is a Glock clone and any Glock 19 mags will work with this. I did say at the beginning of the video it does come with two 15 round KCI mags but you can use Magpul in it, Factor Glock mags, Amen 2, ETS, you name it. They will all work with this gun. Now this does have two back straps so you can change them out if you want. I'm not going to. This one feels great in my hand so I'm going to leave it on there. You also have pretty nice rail space up here. Uh, I did have the Warrior Land crossbow on it, which is a little bit smaller than the TLR-1 HL, but you can put the TLR-1 HL on this. That's how Matt runs this gun. As far as the internal parts go, this does have a nitride stainless steel guide rod and spring in it. Now everyone watching this probably wants to know how is the trigger. Well, it's actually got a pretty nice trigger in it. All right, so there's your take up. Got a little creep right there before you hit the wall. And it's got a really nice clean break. Somewhat of a short reset. Do that again. Let it all the way out. So there's your take up. A little bit more. And then the wall and a nice clean break. So, it actually feels pretty good. I think this will actually shoot really nice. But, uh, it's not the best trigger I've seen in a Glock clone, but I think it's going to be just fine. Alright, so I just wanted to do a quick overview of this pistol. Uh, this thing is really nice. And uh, I thought I'd show it off to you before we take it out to the range for a review. Now I did tell you if you stayed tuned till the end of the video, there's a secondary reason I wanted to review this. So this has the Viridian RFX 45 on it. And uh, I told Matt it looks a lot like my Redwin Cobra TRA dot. They're not exactly the same, but... Quite a bit of similarity there. Uh, the window size on the Viridian is wider. Both of them have the top load battery. Uh, the windage and elevation is in the same spot. So I thought it would be a pretty cool video that we do a head-to-head -head with the Viridian versus the Redwin because this Redwin is about half the price, maybe less, than the Viridian. So we'll see which one is better. And if this one is worth the extra price over the Red Wind. Alright, so stay tuned. There will be a range review coming out on this very soon. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.